Hey there guys, this is Lamzeron, aka YouTube Sasuke, and guess what? We're getting another Dragon Ball game, baby. <laughs> um, this was announced literally, uh, again, I'm recording this and like a uh, couple other videos or a few other videos on the 17th. This got announced uh, apparently the 16th, um, but uh, and this will probably be going up later on um, in the week, so, but uh, this was... It was at least recently announced a new Dragon Ball game called Dragon Ball The Breakers uh, for PS4, Xbox One, Switch, and PC. Um, it's going to launch in 2022, and there will be a closed beta test coming soon, specifically for the PC version. Um, we got one trailer, and uh, this game is being kind of marketed as a quote-unquote asymmetrical multiplayer online game. Um in layman's terms, you could say that this is basically the Dragon Ball version of Death by Daylight or the Friday the 13th game, from what I can tell. Um, in the trailer, they show uh, uh, Imperfect Cell going around sucking people up in Ginger Town, as he does in the story. And it shows uh, Oolong trying to hide. And it also happens to show what looks like... Uh, very sort of early Dragon Ball Bulma when she was wearing the Arabian outfit before they get to a uh, Pilaf's castle, which is uh, interesting. And then they show the gameplay. And they mainly show uh, the char the player characters kind of trying to hide and run away and sort of like get away from and sort of uh, deflect the bad guy. In this case, being an imperfect cell. Um, Based on just the footage and just how, what they're calling it, you know, the asymmetrical multiplayer online game, it seems like it's going to be like Death by Daylight or whatever to where, like, you've got your other people who are playing uh, um, as the regular characters, but then you've got the other player playing as, like, the bad guy. Uh, based on the on the promo image, it seems like it's going to be not only Cell, but also Frieza and Majin Buu. Um, I'd say probably the scariest situationally, I think it's probably going to be Cell. I remember I had a nightmare about second form Frieza, but um, that was, uh, I don't know if he's necessarily that scary. But we'll see. Uh, maybe they'll throw in some Harutagarn stuff if they want to do the Kaiju stuff. Or a special mode where Ultra Instinct Goku goes mad or whatever. But uh, you kind of like those sort of like survival multiplayer games party games almost if you will you can customize your character but it's based on skins it looks like and it seems like it's going to be based on uh, items you get while playing the game and different stuff um, they do show a, a male and a female character um, kind of in, in the promo image and I think in the trailer they only show the male character but it looks like that's going to be the default guy I kind of hope that pr most of the care of the custom customization in your character is primarily in like little tiny cosmetics and not necessarily like oh play as Vegeta in this one section because it's not going to make any sense for Vegeta to be hiding you know it's like I think that's also part of the reason why they're showing Oolong and Bulma like two characters who don't fight um, and even though you know the two regular playable you know sort of default custom characters probably could learn how to fight in fact, you could maybe even make them in Xenoverse if you wanted, if you have the same parts or whatever. Um, but, you know, for, for the sake of what this game is trying to do, you know, it's, they're, they're, you're, you're not a fighter, you're trying to run away. Which I actually think is kind of interesting. Again, Dragon Ball, it can be kind of scary at times. I know a lot of people... Um, got freaked out over certain scenes. Or I say freaked out, but some, some scenes are pretty intimidating. Like, you know, the Majin Vegeta scene where he has, like, creepy smile. Cell, I feel like, in general, is kind of creepy looking. And I think that's sort of what I'm getting mainly from this. Especially since, you know, where he's at and just kind of like the mysterious side of it. Because, again, like, Frieza, it's more like, you know, they go to him. Majin Buu, it's more like, you know, you're waiting for him to come. I feel like, whereas Cell, it's like, I, I feel like Cell definitely works best for this kind of game than any other villain. Uh, I'm trying to think. I, though I do think, you know, including the other villains is definitely a good idea. I'm not saying they shouldn't, I'm just saying, like, I feel like um, 
Cell is probably... I guess what I'm trying to say is I feel like Cell's really the only antagonist who I think kind of works in this scenario. So I think you're going to have to kind of fudge the uh, the immersion of the story a little bit to make this work. Unless they're going to do a thing to where it's like you're on planet Namek and you're trying to get the Dragon Balls while trying to avoid Frieza. And then he comes in and is like, give me the Dragon Balls. And then like he kills you or whatever. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. I'm going to have to kind of think about what kind of role playing I want to do. I've been kind of in my head sort of going through a possibility role play character for Xenoverse 3 if they ever make one. I already kind of know. It's going to maybe be the daughter of my guy from the second game. And she she loses her way and she has to she ends up training under either Frieza or Zamasu, but then she gets beaten up by the good guys and then she has to sort of relearn how to be a good guy so she trains under Tien because she's lost and trying to find her way or whatever. And she's... I don't know why I'm telling you this. <laughs> but it's an idea. I might maybe make her in this game and kind of do a a different thing. Or maybe I'll just make some dude. I, I kind of like making different kind of characters in these sort of games. Especially in this Dragon Ball sort of mini-verse that seems to be going on. Where you get to make your own character. But, you know, we'll see. See how it goes. Um, I'm probably going to get this on PS4. I almost wonder if I should maybe get this on PC. Because, uh, again, since it's going to be like Death by Daylight based on ice, based on how it looks, um, I, uh, I think that uh, getting it on PC is probably the best offer. Um, or the best option, rather. Apparently, Dimps is making this, so... Yeah, I guess we... I just... Because I just scrolled through the thing. I'm like, yeah, I guess we probably aren't going to get Xenoverse 3 for a while. I don't know. Maybe at the Game Awards, they'll announce something or Jump Festa. I might... You know, they might actually show more at Jump Festa. I feel like... Because this is very clearly, I think, going to be like a download-only thing. If they do a physical version, I'll get it. Um, maybe. Um, I do hope it's cross-platform. Because I think that'd be kind of cool. So I don't know. I'm, I'm gonna th- graphically the game doesn't really look that impressive. Fighters and Kakarot and the Xenoverse Two definitely look better. This one definitely kind of looks like it's. I, this almost this definitely kind of almost looks more like a budgeted sort of thing. I, they may I think they may have longevity, and I'm not saying the game looks bad in any stretch, but I've, this game is definitely maybe trying to go for a certain. Um, a certain kind of uh, uh, flavor and look. But we will see. But it almost... Escape as a team or on your... It's not, so is this game going to maybe have like a single player mode? That'll be interesting. Because I feel like you know, Death by Daylight doesn't have a single player mode, I don't think. Like, though I guess... Hmm, I'll have to th- that'll be kind of curious... So I do like kind of these survival horror like games, and I feel like this sort of experimental phase of or era of Dragon Ball games, I think, is actually kind of interesting. Because um, at this point, I think you can say experimental because yeah, with fighters, a lot of people wanted sort of like a traditional two D fighting game. Kakarot, yeah, there are a lot of people like me who wanted sort of like a Legacy of Goku experience or more like action RPG. There are also plenty of people who probably want a turn based traditional RPG, which that'd be cool for them. Um, not really my jam, but I'll still you know, support it. And uh, so here is a uh, them sort of trying something a little different, which I think is interesting. Um, you know, like I said, I don't have too much experience playing these games. I've only played Death by Daylight a couple times, and I've played the Friday the 13th game a few times as well, both on PC. My, none of my computers really run the game that well, unfortunately. So maybe this game will kind of be better for me. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, I'll, cause I'm thinking like I might maybe get it on Switch so that I could have it on the go or maybe get it on, uh, P- I, I'm, I, I kind of want to get it on PC, even though I'm pretty sure my laptop won't be able to run it very well. Um, even though like it doesn't really look like a very taxing game, but still, you know, I don't know. We'll see. But, looks kind of interesting, you know, and I'm definitely glad to have another Dragon Ball game. 
you know, coming up. I'm actually thinking about maybe trying to collect all the Dragon Ball games, kind of like I did with the Tail series, try and get all the Dragon Ball games, because that's going to be, that's going to take a little longer, because I think there are more games, but I do already have a fair amount of them already, because a lot of them have come out in English. I don't have all the English games yet. Like, I never got that uh, DS game, Haruka Naru Densetsu, or whatever it's called, which is, I think, like a board game and a video game kind of thing. But we will see. And of course, I never got in on the Dragon Ball Origins craze, even though I have Revenge of King Piccolo on the Wii. But, you know, we'll, we'll see. Looks kind of interesting. I'm curious to kind of see what what the customization options for your characters are. Apparently, it's going to link up with your save on Xenoverse 2, so I might maybe get this on PS4. Oh, well, what if my guy shows up? And, ooh, okay. All right, listen to me on this. I was thinking about making a human anyway for Xenoverse 3. What if my guy's daughter, he found her while trying to, while he was, uh, while the, he was on like a, a parallel quest where, uh, where Cell was like going around Ginger Town. He'd be like, I'm going to kill you and take your energy or whatever. And she's running away and, she, and she's scared. And my guy's like, I'll save you. And so he, <coughs> um, excuse me. Just dying a little bit, <laughs> um, but he uh, he saves her and shit, and she's like, "Oh, thank you," um, and then he's all like, "Oh, she's really cruel, and I want to help her. I, I'm gonna adopt her and shiz." And then the Supreme Kai of Time is like, "Bro, you can't do that. You can't take this chick from this from this time because it's gonna mess up the time." But then Trunks is like, "I think we should let him do it." And it's like, "Thanks, Trunks." And then he adopts her and shit, and he, and he teaches her how to fight and stuff. But then she loses her way, and Frieza takes over. I don't... I've got the fanfiction.net account. I can start typing this up at any time. Um, but, yes, yeah, interesting. You know, I've got my guy from Fusions 2, who's also a Saiyan. And my guy from the first game. And my guy from Ultimate Tenkaichi. And I don't think, or obviously the account's not still there, but I remember I was able to buy an account for the Taiwanese version of Dragon Ball Online, even though it's kind of pointless now. Yep. Remember those days where you could actually buy an account to play a foreign game where they would give you, like, some random number? Like, you can change it later. Was it worth it? Not really. <laughs> but, uh... Hell, with Tales of Eternia Online, I was actually able to make the account, and I got to the login screen. And now I have a boxed copy, so... <laughs> Um, but anyway, yeah, this is this is interesting. I actually am kind of intrigued by this because I feel like this will also be a good way for people who maybe were a lot of, like they had friends who maybe played Death by Daylight, but they're like, oh no, doesn't really doesn't really my thing. But this will maybe be a chance for people to kind of get into that genre. Be like, oh, well, here's a Dragon Ball game in that genre. Hey, you guys want to play it with me? And be like, oh yeah, I remember that show from back in the day when I was a kid, or whatever, whatever the circumstance is. I might maybe see if I can convince some buddies to play with me. <laughs> we'll see. But yeah, now that I remember that it links up with your Xenoverse 2 data, or it can, I might get it on PS4. Hopefully it's cross-platform. Um, and imagine, you know, it'll be backwards compatible on PS5. Actually, the trailer mentions Xbox Series, but doesn't mention PS5, which is odd, because, you know, it's like, you know, PS4 games you can play on PS5, so it's like... It, it, in terms of compatibility and being able to play it on this system, I don't know if that's really an issue. But, I don't know. We will see. But, uh, yeah. Looks interesting, and I, I'm looking forward to giving this game a try and seeing more about it. I think it could be kind of fun. Because I remember, like, in... I used to play this little game with myself in the Tenkaichi games where I played as, like, um, some random character... And I would pick a Ozaru character, and I would go on the Namek level, and I would hide. I would rush and hide behind the uh, 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 the giant space pod, and they couldn't find me. And it was just kind of, sort of thrilling and fun watching them try to get to me. And sometimes, depending on the character, they would find me. Like I think if I picked Vegeta, or if I picked a Grade Eight baby, they could find me. Or even Harutagarn, they could find me. But it was just kind of, uh, you know, nice and fun and throwing. So I think this is kind of 
This will be kind of ooh, that's a ooh, that's a good idea. Have it to where you're playing as a regular Earth, a regular alien or Earthling, and the Saints are attacking. Ooh, interesting. All right, yeah, I think I'm even more on board now. So we'll we'll see how it goes. But yeah, this is, this is pretty intriguing. I'm curious to see what they do with this, and I'll definitely give the game a try. And you know, we'll see how it goes. But yeah. This is Flames Veronica Yuzasuke signing out. See you later.